Hello, and welcome to Love Anything Art. I've rolled out several different colors of clay and rolled them into balls. And I just picked these because I thought they all looked good together. I would recommend doing about five colors. With each of those, you just want to flatten them. Next, I'll bring in a roller and just start gently rolling them out. And you want them to be pretty thin and roughly about the same size. And then randomly just start stacking them on top of each other. I would try not to put a really, really light color next to another really light color. You want them to kind of contrast a little bit. And once you have them all stuck together, just gently roll them. You don't want to roll to flatten, you just want to roll to connect everything together. Once I've done that, just cut off a little piece, just to get a nice flat straight edge. And then I'll start slicing off thin slices, and I will want a whole bunch of those. You'll pretty much use one slice for each bead. With each of those slices, you'll just want to fold up one end to the other end, kind of like a taco, and just make sure that both sides touch, and just keep pinching them together. Once you have them together, just gently roll them to connect everything. And you just want to roll to connect, you don't want to roll to really make it longer, so just gently, gently roll. And then you'll just start twisting it and you can make your spirals as tight or as close as you want them to be. I hope you are enjoying this video and if you are, if you could give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel. And I also have a Instagram account that I have started about two months ago. So if you want to check me out on that, it is Love Anything Art. And this is just some scrap clay that I have stuck together and rolled out into a tube shape. And I'll cut off several even length slices. With each of those, I'll just roll those into balls. And I made a couple large ones too, because I want a couple of my beads to be a little bit larger than the others but most of my beads will be about the same size. With each of my spirals, I'll take one end and roll it up just a little bit. And then I'll place that on the scrap clay that I rolled and then just start wrapping my spiral piece all the way around from one end to the other till it's covered that scrap piece of clay. And that is it, pretty easy. Nice little idea and you could probably do a whole lot with this. Now that I have all of my bead sizes rolled out and ready to go, I'll just start placing them all on stick pins so that I can bake them. I have placed these all on stick pins and I'll put them in the oven to bake. Once they are baked and cooled, I'll remove them from the stick pins. They come off pretty easy. And I do like to lay out my beads and my polymer clay beads that I made into the pattern that I'm going to string them in just to see how many of each piece I will need. This is some wire. It's a flexible coated wire and it's black. It doesn't really matter what color it is because it'll be completely covered once I have all my beads on there. I'll just start placing my beads on in the exact pattern I have them laid out in. And then I will place a crimp bead on the one end. And I do want to get it as close to the end as possible. That way I don't have to cut off any of the extra wire. And it'll be right where it needs to be for the bead cap cover, which is this clamshell. 
So you'll just cover up that crimp bead and close up the clamshell. It can be a little tricky to get it in there. You can use a tool to help close it up with the other end and I'll just hold it with a tool and then use my cutters to cut it off pretty close to where I'm holding it with the wire. And then I can just put on my crimp bead. And that little thing is slippery. It's just falling off there and dropping all over the place. But once you get it to where you want it to be, continue holding it with your one tool and then just crimp it off with another. And then again, you can put on a clamshell and it will cover up that crimp bead for you and make it all pretty. And I made a bracelet. I just attached this clasp to it. And all these beads are roughly the same size, but I do like the variants in some of them are slightly smaller than the others, but I love that character about it. And this is the necklace that I had made and my little beads. Some of these are a little bit larger. I wanted a little bit of variance in my beads. And then just a very simple pair of earrings that I made into kind of a like cone shape. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.